If you've ever dreamed of serving real estate ads to the people who are currently in your CRM, whether it be people who are in your sphere of influence, sellers you've spoken to, people that are in your general market area that you want to target on Facebook, if this has been something that's been on your mind and if you wanted to know how to do it step by step, this is the video for you. I'm Amanda Fazalani and today is tutorial day. I'm going to share my screen and walk you through step by step how to take contacts from your CRM and put them into your Facebook ads custom audiences area to create a custom audience and then serve ads to them. So let's uh, go into my screen. So basically inside of the Facebook ads manager, you're going to go ahead and hit the hamburger button. That's what I like to call it, three lines. So you'll hit the hamburger button and you'll click on audiences and this will take you to the audiences section of your business manager. And so what you're going to do from here is click on the blue create audience button that's on the left hand side and hit custom audience. Now, if you've never been here before, chances are your mind is blown and you're like, oh, wow, there's a lot of different things that I can do here. In this video, we're going to focus on just getting your CRM list into um, this custom audiences area. So how we do that is you're going to click on customer list, right, for the your sources area. So click on customer list and hit that blue next button. And you're going to see here that this pops up um, how to prepare your customer list. If you have a CRM, like actual like CRM tool, chances are you can just download it and it'll have the name, the email and the phone number and possibly even the zip code for your list of, of, of people, right? Whether it be prospects, your sphere of influence, whatever the case is, whatever you got going on in your CRM. So it'll already have that situated. You can see here on the screen that there is an import from MailChimp option. There's a, uh, and a download file template option. So the download file template option is basically you're going to download something from Facebook that will be a CSV file or like in simple terms, an Excel spreadsheet that has name, email, phone number, and a bunch of other identifiers uh, for the people in your list. And you can basically like customize that if you want to. But if you're already using a CRM that like already hosts the name, email, phone number, right? You don't just have like a random CSV file that you manage yourself for your real estate business. I hope not. <laughs> that sounds very cumbersome. Uh, you can skip this part. So what you would do is hit that next button. The next question you're going to get asked is, does your list include a column for customer value? This would be more applicable if you had like an e-commerce business. But since this is for real estate, we can actually just skip that and click no. And then you get to the part where it says add your customer list. So this is super, super simple. I actually have my uh, CRM list down here and I'm going to drag it into the area and then it's going to allow me to name my audience. So I'm going to name it 0323, which is just how I personally organize things inside of my Facebook ads manager, which is the month and the year. So I have an idea of like when I did something, when I when I started an ad or like when I uploaded an audience. Um, so I know when things are out of date. So 0323 and I'm going to go ahead and call this CRM list upload. Then I'm going to hit that next button on the side and you're going to see here that it mapped three particular things, the name, the cell phone and the zip code, right? Now what I can do is a go to the section that's right next to it on the right side that says action needed, there's going to be 137 other factors, right? Because my CRM has tags in it. It's got their email addresses. Um, it might have things like um, their potential age, their city, their home address, things like that. So you can go ahead and click that and map those out for the purposes of making this video quick. I am going to skip that part because you don't really need me to walk you through that. That would just be you saying, uh, yeah, this column pertains to address. This column pertains to blah, blah, blah. And you're just telling Facebook like what's what inside of your spreadsheet. The next button you're going to hit is import and create. And you're going to see that it's going to take time to upload. I've got 1,151 rows uploaded. So I didn't export my whole list because I felt like that was going to be 
a long time waiting for the export for the video. Um, but now you have some options, right? Next steps, create a lookalike audience or create an ad or create another custom audience. So basically your next step would just be to create an ad, right? And you're good to go. <laughs> you would basically um, serve an ad to that audience, whether it be that you're promoting a brand new listing or you wanted to um, do some type of educational video so that you're staying top of mind. And what's cool about this is there are other strategies that you can implement. Like for example, if you have a specific list of expireds, um, you can make a list about how you work with expireds, right? Or what it means to be an expired in this market and how you in particular can help. What's your value proposition? And you can serve that video to them and try to convert them through a Facebook ad on top of the fact that you're trying to call them. <laughs> so just food for thought. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. Let us know in the comments below if you have any follow-up questions because we can always make a follow-up video or we'll answer your questions in the comments area. As always, I'm wishing you tons of happy new clients, accepted offers, and a whole lot of closings. I'll see you in the next video.